Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading from A Course in Miracles, the student handbook or workbook, and we are on lesson 30. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. The idea for today is the springboard for vision. From this idea, will the world open up before you and you will look upon it and see it, see in it what you have never seen before, nor will what you saw before be even faintly visible to you. Today, we are trying to use a new kind of projection. We are not attempting to get rid of what we do not like by seeing it outside. Instead, we are trying to see in the world what is in our minds and what we want to recognize is there. Thus, we are trying to join with what we see rather than keeping it apart from us. This is the fundamental difference between vision and the way we see. Today's idea should be applied as often as possible throughout the day. Whenever you have a moment or so, repeat it to yourself slowly, looking about you and trying to realize that the idea applies to everything you do see now or could see now if it were, in, were within the range of your sight. Real vision is not limited to concepts such as near and far. To help you begin to get used to this idea, try to think of things beyond your present range, as well as those you can actually see as you apply today's idea. Real vision is not only unlimited by space and distance, but it does not depend on the body's eyes at all. The mind is its only source. To aid in helping you become more accustomed to this idea as well, devote several practice periods to applying today's idea with your eyes closed, using whatever ob subjects come to mind and looking within rather than without. Today's, apply, today's ideas apply equally to both. So this is a great lesson, very, uh, very exciting. And um, it's touching upon all kinds of, of things that we've heard of. Um, but what it's, what it's really leading us to is the understanding that we are not our bodies. And uh, this, is, this is knowledge that is not commonly understood. Um, but when you realize that your body is the housing for your soul or spirit or you know, whatever you want to call it, um, your essence, the part of you that is the divinity of all. So you have housing that you reside within. And when that housing no longer functions, you don't die. Your housing dies, but you don't die. You go on. This is the piece people don't understand. So, uh, or it's at least one piece that pe many people don't understand. So this is how we have vision beyond what our eyes do, because we're connected to everything. This 3D realm that we live in, it's like a hologram, because it's not real. Even though it feels very real, it looks very real, it seems very real. Um, if you cut yourself, you're going to bleed very real blood, or what you think is very real blood. So there's, uh, there's another dimension here that's in operation all the time. And when you can connect with that, you really become your essence, your spirit, your soul, and not so much your body. And uh, your vision will mean that you can see anything and everywhere.
So have fun with this exercise today. If you have questions, text me at 907-351-3003. I'll do my best to respond or make a video that will, will address it. And uh, in the meantime, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you.